finally, the greatest sin to emerge out of a nation, a nation's forgetting God is a desire to be God. The greatest sin. The first lie of the Bible is Satan's assertion to Eve. You can be like God. Genesis 3 and 5. Satan's one overpowering determination was in Isaiah 14, 14. I'll make myself like the Most High. In the quality of life literature, two themes reflect the human desire to be God. The first defends the absolute right of men and women to total sexual freedom. And of each woman to do what she wants to with her own body. That has to deal with the unborn. The second suggests that who's those born with physical, mental, or emotional handicaps, or even poverty, would be better off dead. That's the thought that's being projected in this quality of life ethic. We have absolute, uh, do we have absolute rights to our bodies? The Bible said, know you not that your body is a temple of God. That he bought you with a price. Man doesn't have a right over that body. It belongs to God. But making the will of God synonymous with being true to oneself as in Eastern mysticism is simply the idolatry the Bible warns against disguised in psychological terminology. As to the second theme, it is on the basis that some would be better off dead that physicians play God. They act as if they were omniscient, speaking with certainty about the misery unwanted children with both cause and experience. Who gave these positions their Christian balls? How can we know whether this new child's life will be continual burden or a joyful praise to God? The greatest gospel singer of this age, Miss Ethel Waters, was born of a pregnancy of a 16-year-old mother that was raped, a 16-year-old poor black girl, raped. But out of that rape came one of the greatest gospel singers that the world has ever known. Beethoven's background included a deranged father, a sympathetic mother, a mentally retarded older brother, and a sibling born blind. Par Planned Parenthood will, would have told Ludwig's mother, protect your freedom, terminate the poor thing. Their God is human speculation. It's impotent. It's not big enough for this age in which we live. It's a God of darkness. When the high court decreed that there was no place for the Bible in our schools, in effect, they said there's no place for God. No place for God. The day, the day the Bible left the school, the drug pusher moved in. Free course, no restraint. He become a part. The report on obscenity, reported, the, the panel reporting back to Mr. Nixon, they said we find no correlation between pornography and violent sexual crimes in this nation. But at the same time, they were reporting the marquees of the National Library across the nation were saying, you are what you read. At the exact same time, amen, what's going on? How insane can we get? In one breath, we tell our children, watching and reading filth will not harm them. And the next breath, they, we tell them they're what they read. The truth is, whatever a nation feeds upon will shape the nature of that nation. Amen. It's personalities. We've sired a generation of rapists and murderers by feeding a continual diet of filth and violence. And who can dispute the fact that a reprobate mind has not planned this, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake, there's a reprobate mind loose in the affairs of state. We are in the last give up of God. When the antediluvian world was turned over to a reprobate mind, it was only a matter of days until the lightning and the thunder of the flood began. My God! Tribulations around the corner. A world totally possessed of the devil is just around the corner. The day of the beast is upon us. And if you're not a part of the raptured church, you're going to find yourself in the middle of a world possessed by darkness totally. The future is being mirrored every day on the television screens of America. 
with the church gone, all restraint will be lifted. Devils will walk our streets full grown. A world without God is in the making. God pity the man, the woman tonight that's not ready to meet Christ. For if we can already see what fools cannot see, how near must that rapture be tonight? How close must that rapture be in this hour? America, you turned your back on God and demons have come to walk your streets. A darkness covers this land and the gross darkness the people. And there's only one way out. That's Christ. By turning from the darkness to light. And the only way that happens is the individual. The individual. Here, there, and across this land turns.